Hi everyone, this is Dr. Lin Bung from Edgeling International Academy. I'm very excited to share with you a series of videos in which I interview and have conversations with teachers, students, and people from the US and from different countries. In the video, I will also teach you some new vocabulary words, sentence structures, and pronunciation features. I will also share with you a list of questions so that you can have similar conversations with your friends. If you would like access to the videos, the list of questions, vocabulary, grammar, and pronunciation, you can join the Facebook group called Ed Juling Everyday English. In addition, if you would like opportunities to discuss the questions with students from other countries, you can join Ed Juling Conversation class to meet and discuss with other students three times a week. You can find more information on our website at edjuling.org. Happy birthday! Hi everyone, this is Dr. Lin Fung and today I have Miss Lara Hauer with us and she is going to have a conversation with me and uh, we just want to help you to practice speaking so maybe you're going to learn some new things from our conversation and um, and you can practice conversations like this. So Lara, before we start, uh, could you give one tip for students who want to improve speaking? Sure, uh, I would advise you if you want to practice speaking to not worry too much about making mistakes. It's more important to express your idea and to have the person understand what you're talking about than making uh, some, you know, maybe grammar mistakes here and there. It's more important to get your idea across. Mm -hmm. So Laura, today we're going to talk about birthdays, right? Um, yes. Can you share with us when your birthday is? Sure, my birthday is February 6th. So it was just over a month ago, February 6th. Wow, my birthday was February the 25th. Oh, so just recently. Yeah, we have the same uh, month then. And actually yes. I just celebrated my 40th birthday uh, a few days ago, 10 days ago. So oh, uh, congratulations. That, thank you. That <laughs> Happy was, birthday. Thank you. And you too, and that was a big birthday. Um, how yeah, that's often, exciting. Yeah, how do you often celebrate your birthday? Uh, normally, we would probably go to a restaurant, um, but with the pandemic and the restrictions against uh, going out in public, uh, we might order order food from a restaurant and pick it up and bring it to the house. But yeah, there's usually some kind of meal involved for celebrating a birthday. And And what about you? Well, um, my past birthday was really special. I had a Zoom celebration. So I invited uh, my friends from Vietnam and also my friends in the US. We got together on Zoom and um, we sang together. We talked together and we played a game together. So it was really wow. fun. It was really special. That uh, is very special. Yeah, my husband also bought me two cakes and he bought oh. me a lot of flowers so that was nice oh that's wonderful i had cake as well my mother made a cake uh spice cake with peanut butter icing is my favorite mm, yeah do you know what you're gonna do for your next birthday or oh, maybe it's uh, so far away i i have no idea <laughs> <laughs> well but probably the same thing we usually do which is we'll we'll have uh uh, we'll go to a restaurant or order dinner and then we will have cake and ice cream and usually sing happy birthday yeah yeah and, and just spend some time with family yeah i think this year because i'm 40 now i may do many different things to celebrate the whole year not just uh on the uh, the date of my birthday so that's my plan. yeah that's a good idea <laughs> It's a chance to celebrate, but I hope that when the pandemic is over, we can travel a little bit more. Uh, I hope so too. Plan. Yeah. So Lara, actually, we're going to move on to some fun questions. So these questions are just uh, fun to answer. And so let's uh, try these questions. Um, do you think crying is a sign of weakness or strength? 
That's a very interesting question. Um, I think there are different kinds of crying. Sometimes we cry when we're happy. Uh, sometimes we cry when we're sad or angry. So I think that is actually a sign of strength because uh, it shows that you can uh, be true with your emotions. So you could show your emotions and let them be the way they really are instead of trying to hide them. Mm -hmm. What do you think? I, I agree with you that we cry for many different reasons and it, it doesn't mean that it's a sign of weakness. It just, right. um, we show our emotions and it's healthy, right? And because if you keep your emo emotions inside, I don't think that um, you're gonna be so happy about it. So, so I, I agree. Think, yeah. It's not good to keep things inside. That's yeah. right. And it's good to talk to other people and share our emotions too. Yes. Uh, so absolutely. let's try another fun question. Do you celebrate the things you do have in your life? This reminds me of a conversation that we had recently about Thanksgiving. Uh -huh. So I think, yes, Thanksgiving is a time to celebrate the things we do have instead of being sad about the things that we don't have. So um, it's a way to think positively. Uh, we don't actually, or I don't actually think that I've ever had a party to celebrate something that I have, but uh, celebrate just by being grateful and being uh, happy that I have nice things and the things that I need, like a, a house and a car and a job and uh, and some pets and a nice husband. And so yeah. those are the things that I, I am very happy that I do have. Right. Yeah. And you? Yeah, same for me. I think that it's good to uh, express our gratitude and feel grateful for what we have. So for example, today is sunny and I'm really grateful for the sunshine. Yes shining through the window so i appreciate the small things in life as well and uh, they just make me happy right um so so, so yeah. we could celebrate by going out and taking a walk in the sunshine yeah yeah that's that's mm -hmm. very nice as well so those are the small things that i often also celebrate in my life um thank you so much clara for the conversation and uh, Thank you. I hope that the students enjoy getting to know us and maybe have yes. conversations like this with their friends as well. Yes, it was very nice to talk with you and get to know you better. Thank you. What about you? When is your birthday? How do you often celebrate your birthday? Do you think that crying is a sign of weakness or a sign of strength? Do you celebrate the things that you do have in your life? Now, I would like to review some interesting language that is mentioned in the conversation. One thing that you may notice is that I asked a few two-part questions. So instead of asking a direct question like, when is your birthday? I asked, can you share with us when your birthday is? It sounds more polite to ask a question like that. In addition, in conversations, you can see that it is very common to use adverbs to start a sentence. So for example, I say, actually, I just celebrated my birthday. Lara also said that uh, normally we would probably go to a restaurant. So adverbs like actually, normally, usually, probably, are very common in conversations. Now I would like to review some new words and the pronunciation of those words with you. The first word is uh, celebrate, celebrate. The stress is on the first syllable, celebrate, celebration, celebration, restriction, restriction. Pandemic, pandemic. So when you practice the pronunciation of those new words, it is good to use your hand like I just used on the stressed syllable. And you also try to make the stressed syllable longer, a little bit louder and a little bit higher. Uh, I encourage you to practice with this technique of using your hand because it will help you to improve your pronunciation of the stressed syllable. 
I hope that you find the video helpful. If you would like to access the video, the list of questions, and also know the time to join a conversation with other students, please join the Facebook group called Edueling Everyday English. Thank you and see you next time.